look at uh, a couple of reptiles. Like I said, a turtle, a snake, and a lizard. So ah. That's a turtle right here. Um, this is a, oh, a turtle. Everything with this shell, legs, and head poking out. They're all called turtles. Um, tortoises are, are just a type of turtle, so they're not a whole separate category. And the tortoises are just the ones that live on land. So you can look at their feet, you tell where they live. So his little toenails there, you can walk around and sand, dirt rocks, and all that. So he's a, the tortoise. And he's called a pancake tortoise. Because he's flat. It's like a pancake <laughs> or a flat shell. Um, and he's actually one of the fastest tortoises in the world. And that's actually because of the shell right here. The shell is very, very thin, so not as big and heavy as, as other turtle tortoise mm -hmm. shells. So he can move a little faster and see if he wants to. He looks like he wants to go. <laughs> Hmm. There you go. <laughs> so. He's a real racer, eh? There you go. Well, <laughs> streamlined and everything. It's the cold cool weather, it's got to be. <laughs> it is the cold weather, yeah. If you heat them up, they, they speed up. <laughs> so, well, he's, there he's, he's, he's starting to boogie. <laughs> Take a little walk here. We've but got an interest. The shell be like um, a soft fingernail, kind of? Yeah, yeah. It's basically the just like that. You can actually bend it a little bit. I mean, it's still hard, yeah. um, but it's still... Got an interesting well. got an interesting pattern on the back, mm -hmm. too. You need pattern. And that's... Um, there you go. He's very um, light-colored, mm -hmm. too. As yeah. opposed to, you know, the black. Yeah, he's um, from Africa, and I guess the area where they live. They live, you know, on the ground, near a bunch of rocks. Okay. So it kind of blends in with, with the ground color. Um, mm. And he actually, that shell is made, hang on, alright, back here, but his shell is actually made to squeeze in between rocks, so when he gets scared, something threatens him, since the shell isn't the greatest protection for him, it's very thin, um, so he, he's so going to hide. So it's down from top to bottom as opposed to side to side. Both yeah, ways. well, he can, um, he can actually, I don't want to squeeze his belly too much, but yeah, it's kind of, kind of like that. He can, okay. it's pretty flexible, and when, he's going to just wedge himself in between the rocks and then take a big deep breath, and that'll actually kind of fit tightly okay. in the rocks, so he's going to go up, up and down. Right. Yeah. yeah. So he takes his little legs, too, and just kind of grabs on anything, and, and that actually helps him. He holds on really tight for his size, and he looks like he's pull him right out, but it's amazing how strong he is, so wow. that way, you know, Predator gets a hold of him and just can't pull him out of the rock. Okay. So it's, that's what he does for protection, instead of relying too much on his shell. Right. Um, he's an herbivore, well, turtles and tortoises are, are the herbivores, he's going to eat lots of greens, um, fruits and veggies, things like that. Now a lot of turtles actually can eat um, protein too, some bugs and things, but he's, he's mostly just the herbivore. Okay. Ooh. Cool. Can you bring someone else up for you? Sure. sure. All right. A lizard. He's called a skink. And oh, there yeah. are lots of skinks around. There's over 200 different types found all throughout the world. Um, this one is uh, in the family of the giant skinks. So if he's a giant skink, they don't really get that big. But <laughs> he's big for, for most skinks. Wow. Um, there's... Uh, this one is found in the Solomon Islands, which is uh, right across there, right next to uh, Australia. He, yeah, can pet. He does. Uh, he has bitten me before, so just stay away from his head. But he's, okay. he's pretty. Wow. He's fine. We touch. Ooh, you feel the warmth, and <laughs> and he doesn't scratch you. Um, not too much. Now we try to kind of trim his nails down a little bit, so they're not yep. too sharp. <laughs> Looks like he's shedding a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's a neat thing. Is a lot of people don't realize it, but actually all reptiles um, will shed their skin as part of being a reptile. Mm -hmm. um, so yep. even turtles will shed uh, the pieces of their scales yes. come off yes. and alligators and everything. So, um, But usually when you think of shedding, you think of like a snake and that all comes off in one, yeah. one big it's piece. It's very but pink he, uh, Yeah. <laughs> he's sticking it out right there. He goes right there. Um, he's using it for a sense of smell. Uh, a right. lot of lizards have that sense of smell in their tongue just like snakes do. And they just really just start picking up air particles with it and then using it uh, inside of their mouth, they have um, something that deciphers what those particles are. Right. So that's how they're able to tiny, tiny sense little it. eyes. Mm -hmm. Very neat. Now he's uh, this type of skink though is called the prehensile tail um, because of this tail he has. You can actually 
you want to let go of me? Yeah, he doesn't really like that so much. But you can actually hold him up by his like tail. Half. Yeah, just wow. like, you know, so it doesn't actually hurt him. It's just used as an extra arm or leg. Uh -huh. um, so, you know, he can actually balance with that, <laughs> with that tail. Um, so he's an excellent climber. And he's from a jungle area, uh, lots of real dense, you know, forests and, and trees and everything. So he's going to actually feel very safe. I'm going to actually put you, put you right up here. There you go. Can I hold on? Yeah, that's a little better, huh? There you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. And there you go. Okay. Yeah, right. So this is basically what he's doing. You can see him just kind of. Grab hold on. on, and he just holds on real tight and climbs up around in the trees. He's going to spend more time at the top of the trees because he's a smaller animal, a lot of big predators that live on the ground, um, so he does feel safer higher up uh, in the trees. Mm -hmm. And just like the birds, you think of the tropical birds, you know, that, that fly up there and they hang out up in the trees. Um, it's instinct for, for the lizard, too, to stay up, up high because of that, that predator problem. So actually, if you put him down, in a lower spot, he's going to try to find, you know, the nearest place to climb straight back up. So. Uh, this is a python, and there are a lot of different types of pythons out there. Some get real big, some don't get so big. Um, the biggest snake in the world is actually a type of python called the reticulated python, and that can get about 30 feet, uh, 30 feet long. Um, this one right here is called a ball python. Uh, it's when he gets scared, he curls up into a ball. Doesn't get very big. This is actually average size. The one right here. And a really, really, really big one can get maybe five feet long. Um, so he's still growing. You know, you know, reptiles actually grow throughout their whole life. Um, when they get average size like this, their growing slows down a lot. But it's still growing a little tiny bit here and there. But um, this, uh, the ball python, like I said, he he curls up into a ball when he gets scared. But he does that because. Um, it actually because his little spots he has all along his body kind of look like his eyes. It's really neat pattern. I yeah. love that, that pattern. He has both, you know, spots on both sides of him. And that helps him um, kind of camouflage himself, makes it look like he has eyes all around his body in okay. a big circle. So his head is going to be kind of underneath the coils inside, hidden. And, you know, predators going to look at that and say, well, maybe his head is down here and grab him down there and he can get away and get to a hiding spot maybe. So, so that's why he does that and why he has this really neat pattern. And then really dark colors, um, he spends more time on the ground, not a tree snake at all. So, you know, darker <laughs> kind of dirt colors, yeah. maybe, maybe some darker greens on him too. Yeah. Um, in Africa is where he's from. He's also called the Royal Python. He's seen as royalty over there. And that's uh, mostly because snakes like to eat mice and rats things like that, and uh, mice and rats will carry diseases. So, with more snakes around, that means less mice, less disease running through all those small villages. So, they're great to have around, um, and not only do they, you know, get rid of all the mice, lots of snakes will, will eat mice, all kinds of snakes, um, but since this one doesn't get very big, he's not really a threat to people either. So, he's, he's not venomous. Um, and he can't really hurt a person at his smaller size. So those really big giant snakes, they're actually big enough to squeeze people. Like, and they can kill a person. Um, but this little guy here, if he started to wrap around me right now, I could just unwrap him. So <laughs> it's not, not a really, not a big threat. So that's why people like these snakes in particular to have, have around. Um, and I said they're constrictors, they're the kind of squeeze. He does have teeth inside of his mouth, though. A lot of people say, well, a snake just squeeze, they don't bite, they don't have teeth. But it's not true. This snake actually has about 50 teeth inside his mouth. Ooh. His little, little head there. Little, mm -hmm. like little milk teeth. Yeah. <laughs> little itty bitty, just like tiny little needles. Well, it's just so that they can grab onto something when they're eating it. Exactly. Yeah. You know, that's, that's how they have to, you know, they. they they'll just go up and start squeezing, you know, <laughs> it usually doesn't work, so they have to actually sink their teeth into something, grab on, mm -hmm. and then start wrapping around, and that's, that's just what they do. Now, he, like I said, he's not a threat to people, but he can bite, and a bite probably would hurt, um, but, you know, you get over it, so <laughs> it's not, not that bad. Um, so what but do you yeah, huh? give him for food then? We give him mice. Yeah, and some rats. Ones? No, nothing live. Um, we actually can't um, feed out live mice as a zoo. We have to be humane. Am I supposed to hold this? Oh.
<laughs> See, feel like he feels different. Feels like uh, oh, he wants cool. to go down my sleeve. He wants to go up your sleeve. Put <laughs> a python. Cool. It's not creepy like I figured. And he's not cold either. No, he's warm. Hmm. Hi, baby. Yeah. Aren't you a baby? Aren't you a baby? <laughs> and see how it's got all that under on his underbelly. It's kind of yep. shiny. Yeah. Because that's kind of like the muscles that contract and. Yeah, lots of different thousands of different muscles. Sure. What do I do to hold him? Just. Oh, he's nice and warm. My hands are cold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would have thought that I would have thought that something cold-blooded would be cold. <laughs> he's nice and warm and dry. You should try that. <laughs> Don't you want to hold him? Oh, you have. Fat quick. Fat quick. Fat quick. Fat quick. Fat quick.